Hi guys, my name is Maddie. If you're new to my channel, I love sewing, traveling, and eating food all over the world. And it is officially the holiday season. And for over a year now, I have wanted to make a Christmas dress. Now, some of my favorite creators online have created holiday inspired dresses. And I think it's my turn to attempt the same thing. So without further ado, let's get started. For this Christmas dress, I decided to make a very full flared skirt with two full-length drapes down the side. These will be trimmed by some green and red velveteen, and in the center there is a satin panel. Um, on the bottom of the skirt, I wanted to trim it with some lace, and then for the bodice, I decided to add a decorative panel in the center and trim it with various trims. And then for the sleeves, I decided to make puffy sleeves and then add drapes that are trimmed. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, for the skirt, I'm using pattern 4681 by McCall's, and I'm specifically using this skirt piece right here. Now, originally with my design, it has drapes, very similar to the Snow White pattern, but instead of it being only about midway down the skirt, it's going to be all the way down the skirt. Now, the way I think I'm going to approach this is by cutting this skirt pattern out twice, except the second time, which I cut out of that teal fabric, I will make the front panel significantly narrower so there's an opening in the front so I can just hem off the sides and then you can see the lovely white. Now, for the fabrics I'm using, I'm using this kind of creepy satin. It's really shiny, so it'll look beautiful under this teal sheet that I'm using. Now, the biggest concern I have with this sheet is that it is not going to be thick enough skirt for like a ball gown because usually you want to find more durable materials, but uh, we will try our best and see if it works out. Okay, so here are the pattern pieces we're using. I need two front pieces and I need two back pieces. What I did forget to mention is that I'm going to make these pieces slightly larger than the white ones in order to fit around the skirt in a way that kind of highlights the skirt underneath without pinching or squashing it. Now we'll see if this works out well. Like I said, the sheet's kind of a bit of a pickle for me in this project, but I think it'll work out great. So let's go ahead and cut these pattern pieces out. So now that I have all the white pieces of the skirt cut out, I'm going to go ahead and move on to cutting out the teal pieces. So now we're working on the front of the skirt, and like I said previously, we're going to make the pattern piece narrower so that you can see the white underskirt underneath. Now that I have this piece folded in, I'm going to go ahead and cut around it, and then move on from there. Okay, I know this seems a little bit backwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and sew the teal pieces together before I seal, seal, before I sew the white pieces together. Um, just because the teal pieces require a little bit more work in the long run. Okay, so here are the center front and center back panels cut out. Here is the center back and here is the center front. I'm gonna go ahead and sew them along that line right there. And then I'll meet you back when I'm done. Okay, so here is the center front and the center back panel sewn together, and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat with the other two panels, and then move on to sewing the center back pieces together. Here are both panels sewn together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the center back pieces all the way up to about here so I can have space for zippers. Now we get to go ahead and do one of my favorite parts, which is trimming so let's go ahead and get started okay so here are all the trims i am using so i'm using this green velveteen table runner then on top of that i'm going to put this silver ribbon and then on top of that this brocade red ribbon and then i'm thinking of maybe doing a checkered embroidery pattern using my sewing machine on top of the green velveteen and then finally on top of that i may add this red ribbon we will see how this turns out i'm going to go ahead and sew these all on my sewing machine and i'll meet you back when i'm done So it is officially day two and I have finally finished all the trims on the front of the teal portion of the skirt. Now if you notice there is an obvious discrepancy from the original trim I told you about. I ended up having to change the pattern plan because I realized that the trim I wanted to use for the bodice 
I also wanted to use for their skirt and there just was not enough. I ended up using three different just plain silk ribbons. I used a dark blue, a red, and a white. And then I kept with the original silver and I did end up embroidering. Now that we've finished the teal part of the skirt, we're gonna go ahead and iron all the white pieces out just cause there's a lot of wrinkles in them and I want it to look as neat and crisp as possible. Now that I'm done ironing these pieces out, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the center front seam and attach it the same way I did the teal skirt. I'll meet you back when I'm done. Okay, so now that I've sewn all the skirt panels together, all I have left is to sew the center back seam again and sew up to this notch here. Next thing I'm gonna do is sew this ruffle that I drew originally in my design onto the base of the skirt. I am going to make this ruffle out of the leftover white material. What's nice is these are curtains originally, and so there's already a pre-made length of material that I can use for the ruffle. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these all off, attach them together and create that ruffle. So now it is time to attach the teal and the white skirt together. I'm going ahead and lining up the center backs of each skirt where the zipper is supposed to be. And then I'm gonna sew along that line all the way to the front. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hem the teal skirt. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add this waistband to the skirt. And once that is finished, I'm gonna add this elastic into this pre-sewn casing just to add a little bit more snugness around my waist and then my intention is to make this a two-piece costume so it'll be a skirt piece and then it'll be a corset top piece and i will just add a zipper to the back of the skirt once the waistband is attached so here's that skirt with the waistband and now i'm going to go ahead and add the elastic Okay, so I just got home from a long, pretty busy day, but now we're gonna go ahead and get back to some sewing. So the last thing I intend to do today is add the zipper to the skirt so I can start fresh and early tomorrow on the bodice. Okay, everybody, so I just finished the skirt. Now that it is completely done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like, and then we get to move on to the bodice. Okay, so here is the finished skirt. It's very spinny. I'm super proud of how it looks. And now that this is done, all that we have left to do is complete the bodice and the sleeves. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go for now and I will meet you back when we start on the bodice. Okay, everybody, it is, oh goodness. It is bodice time. And we are gonna use the same corset pattern I used last time when I made my Snow White costume to make this corset. So I know there's been kind of a discrepancy between if it's a corset or a bodice, cause I've kind of been using them interchangeably in this video. To ease the confusion before I get any farther along, this bodice is technically going to be a corset, but it'll be treated still as the bodice of the dress, even though it'll be detachable in the end. It's going to be set up very similar to the Snow White costume I made, where all the decorations are mainly centered in the front of the bodice. So this is not a simple bodice to put together. It requires four different layers, a interfacing layer, it requires a boning layer, the outer decorative layer that everyone gets to see, and the lining. Because I'm trying to keep this a fairly short video, I'm gonna go ahead and breeze through most of the instructions. My Snow White ball gown, it has better instructions and more details on how to put this corset together. Okay, so for the four layers of this project, we're gonna first start with the outwards layer, which I will be making out of the same material I used for the skirt this teal sheet. Now, we had already talked a couple times about how this sheet is the bane of this project, so to speak, because number one, it's not stiff. Number two, it's fairly silky. And number three, it's just one of those that you wouldn't jump towards when you're making a ball gown. But because I don't like wasting a lot of materials, uh, I took advantage of it and we're going to use it anyway. Secondly, for the stiffening portion of this bodice, now I've kind of said interfacing, but the thing is, 
I don't have a lot of interfacing, so what I will be using instead, and no, this is not wrapping paper, this actually is fabric. It's a pre-waxed material that I think will work fine for a stiffener. I just have to make sure that the colors and the brightness will be hidden behind that tail. For the boning, I will be using zip ties. Um, finally, we are using this blue periwinkle sheet for the lining. Okay, so here are all the bodice pieces laid out and we're gonna go ahead and cut them out of my lining material. Now that the lining is cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this with the stiffener. Now that I've cut out the lining and the stiffener, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the teal overlay. Now that all the bodice pieces are cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the lining together and I'll meet you back once it's finished. lining now I'm gonna go ahead and add some boning casing along these seams and use like I said previously these zip ties for boning so here is the fully boned lining okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is attach the stiffened fabric to the teal fabric Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew all the outer layer bodice pieces, except the center front piece together. Now that all the other bodice pieces are sewn together, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the center front. Okay, so here is the plan for the trim. We're gonna try to go as similar to the original design as possible. So I've had these poinsettia doilies for a while now and I thought it would be the perfect centerpiece for a holiday inspired ball gown. I'm also using this brocade trim. I'm using this green velvet trim underneath that. Underneath the green velvet trim, I will be using this sparkly silver trim that you saw on the skirt. And then finally on top of that, I will be using this goldish bronze cord. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the center front piece and cut it out of the doily and the red brocade underneath it. And from there, we will sew this to the center front of the bodice. And after that's done, we will sew the side fronts to the center of the bodice. I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and show you the process as we go along. And I will meet you back once it's completely finished. So the final things I'm gonna do is sew this white knitted lace to the top of the bodice, and I'm gonna sew this red satin lace around both armholes. Here's what the finished bodice looks like. Now that I've finished decorating the bodice, we're gonna go ahead and sew it to the lining. For the closure, I'm gonna go ahead and use this zipper panel that I cut from a used pillowcase and sew it to the back. Okay, so this is the bodice with the zipper sewn in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and sew these straps. The final step before I move on to sleeves is cleaning up this raw edge around the bodice. And I'm gonna do this by binding the seams with this strip of velvet. Here is the completed corset bodice, whatever you wanna call it. Now we're gonna go ahead and start on the sleeves. So now we are on to the sleeves, which is the last part of this project. For these sleeves, I will be using pattern 9713 by Simplicity. For the materials, I'm gonna go ahead and use this remnant of the teal material. And then for the sleeve drapes, which will go around here, I'm gonna be using this crepey cotton material. And the nice thing is it's already somewhat pre-gathered at the bottom, so I shouldn't have to worry about hemming anything. I'm gonna go ahead and lay these pattern pieces out, cut them out, and I'll meet you back once I'm finished. Okay, so here's that sleeve drape and the sleeve, and I'm gonna go ahead and sew them together. Now that I've gone ahead and sewn these two pieces together, I'm gonna go ahead and add the decorative trim on top. All right, so now that I have attached the trim to the sleeve, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the sides together and attach it to the bodice. All 
right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please like or share it. I love showing my work with other people. And if you even really enjoyed watching my content, go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot of new exciting material coming out shortly. Anyway, this project is completely finished. So without further ado, here's the finished holiday ball gown.